What? They're closing the gate and taking Doc and Brayden inside. And it looks like against their will. I think I need backup. Kendra! I'm here. It's not looking too good over here. Doc and Brayden just got taken inside and, uh, I don't think they went willingly. What? But worse than that, Claire and some others just locked Brayden's car behind the gate. I think they're being taken hostage. Hostage? What do we do? Well, I want to say police, but... Things might get rough. You Texans do seem to like shooting things. Hey, we're not all cowboys down here. No cops. I think we ought to handle this ourselves. We can get them out. There's a lot of people in there, Kendra. Someone will see us. We can do it. We find a way in where nobody sees us, we grab them, and we get out. It wouldn't take more than ten seconds. All right, then. I'm with you. What about Kenny? What are we going to do with her? Leave that to me. I'll figure something out. It might take a minute, but don't do anything crazy until I get there. Comfy. While everyone else may be here of their own free will, Brayden and I certainly are not. This will not help your case at all, Joshua. Pardon my French, but it seems like we're gonna be a bit fucked no matter what we do. If you believe you're already at risk, why bother? Why not take your people and go? Go where? We don't have a magic bus that'll take us to Narnia. This is it. Colossus is it. I just need to know what's coming my way so we can prepare. Nothing! We already told you we are just making sure everyone is safe. Well, forgive me if I don't believe you. Well then, you gonna put us in the ground? <laughs> nah. Nah, as fun as that all sounds, the flock and I, we, we don't really believe in violence. Uh, but we are very protective of each other. And you know, we don't have any rules about destroying cars. It's a long way back to Austin from here. But then again, you'd probably just hitch a ride from whoever's got that van parked down the road. Van? Uh, uh, what van? <laughs> oh, Brayden. You know the one. The one that's been scoping us out all week with the big News 11 sign on it. Not very discreet. News 11? Wait, what? Don't play dumb with me, newsman. No, wait, that isn't me. I don't even work there anymore. Truthfully. <sighs> you know, I've been around enough liars to know one when I see one. But you... You're telling me the truth, aren't you? Whatever you saw, the van... It's nothing we know anything about. But you're not wrong. A shitstorm is probably heading your way if the person I think it is was anywhere near here. <sighs> Damn it. All right, I need to think. I think that went rather well. Yeah, we haven't been used as target practice yet. So far, so good. Well, how is she? She's good. Playing Kendra's Game Boy again. She's really mastering Tetris. It's a trip, though. Didn't think I'd ever spend time with our little girl at that age again. I missed it. Oh, so did I. She even let me braid her hair again. Hmm. I guess our other baby girl just grew up fast. Too fast. And having Kenny here is a reminder of that. So, graduation. I know. I know. How the hell do we just leave and go about our day knowing we've got Two versions of our daughter under the same roof. Alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't never lied. But seriously, though. Yeah. I think we just cancel. That commencement ceremony is way less important than daughter from the past, don't you think? I do. But at the same time, graduation was already postponed because of the pandemic. 
Our absence is definitely going to draw some attention. Especially since this is your first year acting as dean of the School of Science. Well, Kendra's already agreed, and Kenny's okay with it, too. Now, you really think she can take care of herself and her little mini self? You gotta believe she can. She'll be 16 in a couple of months, and it's just a few hours. Oh, I did not think this would ever be my life. Maybe we can ask Kendra to time travel back to our first date and spoil it a little. <laughs> Uh-uh. Oh, yeah. She can steal my wallet before we head out to that awful restaurant I picked. Not having food poisoning for a week would be nice. But you made me laugh. You'd have got me anyway. And you still look cute, even when throwing <laughs> up. Uh-uh. You need to stop. Ugh. You guys are going to make me throw up if you don't cut it out. Part of the job, baby. Part of the job. Shouldn't you be heading somewhere? Are you sure you okay to watch Kenny? Of course. We'll bake cookies or something. I can hold down the fort. Okay. Now, you come get us if anything goes wrong, okay? Anything at all. Yes, Dad, of course. Now go hand out those diplomas. Good. We trust you. Well, yeah, you should. I've got everything under control. I'm just, like, still so in shock right now. I, I literally feel like I'm losing my mind. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> really? That's all you got. Like, our friends can teleport and move things with their minds, and all you can say is, uh-huh. I mean, it's kind of cool. They're basically like superheroes or something. No, Dewan, it's not cool. It's, like, very uncool, actually. I mean, what if we upset them and they just, like, zap our minds or something? They can turn us into vegetables. Oh, my God, Mac. Take a chill pill. Now, deep breath. There you go. Better? I think I'm dying. <laughs> You're not dying. You just need a hug. Oh. <laughs> so, are you going to give me one? Pfft, not. I don't even give my real sister hugs. Real sister? Yeah, you and Kendra are like my other sisters. So, you think of me as your sister? Yeah, but you and Kendra are the ones I actually like. Oh, <laughs> Okay. You all right? Yeah, uh, but back to what I was saying. I just don't know what this means for all of us. Like, are Kendra and Michael, like, E.T. and we have to run away from the government with them on bikes with Kenny in the front basket? Like, I can't do that. I have way too many clothes. Well, if we did run away, they could take us anywhere in the world. We could hang out in Hawaii right now if we wanted. All of us. Not a care in the world. Or oh, the Amazon. Anacondas? No thanks. Hello? Oh, hey, Kendra. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh my god, what? What? We can't do that. Because we'll kill her, probably? I don't know. I can't take care of another human. I can barely, like, take care of myself. That's not a compelling argument, Kendra. Hawaii. Yeah, that's right. Next weekend. Deal? All right. We'll be there soon. What the hell was all that? The good news is, I just booked us a trip to Hawaii. You owe me one. What? Really? Wait. What's the bad news? <sighs> We've got a babysit first. Got your waters. Thank you, Claire. I appreciate you. You can put them over there. Now, gentlemen, please run me through this again if you don't mind, because I'm having a real hard time understanding the benefits of your proposal. To put it as simply as possible, if News 11 airs anything that isn't true, Braden sets the story straight. Like I said, I think I know who is in that van, and I'll definitely try to talk her out of what I think she's about to do. Okay. And what do we do when that doesn't work? My original plan. Tell all that lets everyone know the people here are safe and thriving. My show will air nationwide, so I'll have a much larger reach than News 11. What? And there it is. There's my concern, gentlemen. You're asking me to do the very thing I've been trying to avoid since I built this establishment. I'm off the grid for a reason. I can't let anyone find me, or this place. But it's already happening, Joshua, whether you want it to or not. People will know about this place in due time. But the narrative around that reveal is entirely up to you. But you'll need Braden to orchestrate the version that's true and fast. 
I do not think time is on your side. Joshua, we can't let them do that. Claire, please. They'll take us away. Claire, get out. Fine. God damn that girl. Listen, we know the world tends not to give a shit about the individual. If it did, Colossus wouldn't need to exist, and we wouldn't have needed to come out here. Cruelty is an infestation lurking in all corners of the world. I don't want to put these people back in the situations Colossus got them out of. Just let me at least get their story out. Your story. But it needs to come from you. No one else. Shit. All right. Couldn't kill us, right? Perfect timing. Thanks so much for coming, guys. Seriously. Michael's been waiting for me since this morning. Where are you going? Brayden and Doc are in trouble. Michael and I need to help them. Oh, damn. How in trouble? Yeah, like... Do they have a flat tire somewhere or something? I wish it was something that simple, but it's a little more serious than that. Well, then get to it. But uh, first, where's the uh, little version of you? In my room, playing Tetris. Oh, nice. That should make things easy. Nope. I promised her we'd bake cookies later. So you'd better go preheat that oven. I like cookies. <laughs> We've got it, Kendra. Just go do your thing. You guys are the best. Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I promise. Yeah, holy... That was like... She just... Mac, we're gonna need to get used to that and fast. They're zapping us to Hawaii next week. Remember? Oh, man. Come on, Kendra. Where are you? It's about time. Sorry, I couldn't just leave a six-year-old by herself. Who's with her now? Mackenzie and Dawn. So what's going on? Where are Doc and Brayden? They're still tied up inside. I've been circling the perimeter for hours now, trying to spot the best opening. And? It's not the most fortified place, obviously, but there are a lot of people moving about. It's going to be tough to get in without being noticed. What about the rooftop? Oh, yeah. Damn. That's good thinking. They don't seem to be in any immediate danger, so it might be a good idea to do it when people are sleeping. Totally. What now? We definitely need to stay put. Just in case. Agreed. So, how is Kenny? Good. Mackenzie and Dewan are about to bake cookies with her. I'm sure they'll have their hands full. Without a doubt. Like I was saying this morning, it's, uh, weird for me that she's here, to be honest. I mean, you know, outside of the obvious weirdness of it all. What do you mean? Well, like, you don't really remember. I mean, how would you? But, uh, yeah, you disappeared. And then I was just left alone for two weeks. Not being able to communicate with you or knowing where you were. Oh, yeah, I hadn't even thought about that. Then you came back, but I still couldn't talk to you anymore. Then a couple months later, you and Doc were both completely gone from my life, and I was in Lucid Insomnia alone. Then I found out my bio dad died. Kendra, I've had that loneliness with me all the way up until March of this year. Kenny being here is just bringing some stuff back up, I guess. I'm sorry, Michael. It's okay, Kendra. Honestly, thank you. You're not alone now, though. I want you to know that. I do. Good. Hey, 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 look. That's Brayden and Doc. They're moving them. I see them. They don't look injured, at least. That's good. Where are they? Are they letting them go? What the hell? Well, fellas, here we are. Parting is such sweet sorrow and... I appreciate your understanding of the whole situation. Y'all made for some lovely captives. We'll be sure to recommend you to other travelers on the road. The service was lovely, but the ropes were a little too tight. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. Doc's got a sense of humor. Ugh. Seriously, though? You don't have to worry. I'll be back soon. We can get started with the interviews immediately. Whatever might be pushed, I can definitely shut down. All right, good. I just want to remind you what's at stake. See, some of these folks here, I mean, I ain't ever seen the likes of what they've been through. You understand? If they get one whiff of that old life sneaking up on them, I'll start losing them. And not because they moved back home. Do you get what I'm saying to you? We understand, Joshua. It will not come to that. We won't allow it. All right, then. On your way, gentlemen. Are you okay? I will be once we get the hell out of here. You know, you actually took being kidnapped a little too well back there, Doc. 
Something you want to discuss? Outside of having a PhD in neuropsychology and knowing full well we were never in any real danger, I must admit, it wasn't my first time being held against my will. We needn't discuss that just now. It's a tiring tale. Today was a pleasant experience by far. All right. Apologies. No need, Braden. So, our next moves? Right. Well, I think a quick trip to Channel 11 is in order. I've got an old friend I need to talk to. And are you sure you can handle these interviews by yourself? Whatever help you might need, I can provide. Appreciate it, Doc, but no. Thanks. I'm only pointing a camera and letting them do the talking. It shouldn't be too difficult. I'll definitely need you to review the tapes afterward, that's for sure. Good. I think I'll need a little time to figure out this situation with Kenny, to be honest. We're running out of time to get her back. Seven days tomorrow. <laughs> As if we didn't have enough problems already. Hi. Jesus. Whoa, we did it. Holy shit, that was wild. What the hell are you two doing? Seeing if we could teleport into a moving vehicle. And look, nailed it. Pros. Congratulations. Impressive that you didn't teleport yourselves into the car's engine. I imagine that would have been a very painful death. Wait, can that happen? I don't think so? It might be good to consider this the next time you make a jump like that. Anyway, why are you two here? I, I thought we told you to stay put. We just wanted to make sure you were okay. And good thing, too. You guys got kidnapped. Yeah, we thought they were gonna go full Leatherface on you. Nobody went Leatherface. We had it handled. We're here, aren't we? I must say, I'm disappointed that you didn't honor your word. I had the respect to trust you previously, Yet you deliberately chose not to give me the same courtesy. All right already. Jeez, we're sorry. I'm not. Nobody knows what could have happened. It was better that we were there looking out for you and that's that. I already lost my bio mom and dad. I couldn't stand to lose you too, Doc. Michael. I gotta head home. Dad's probably worried. Kendra can fill me in later. Michael, hold on a sec. What is going on with that kid? He's probably frustrated with being treated like and called kid all the time. I think we both are. Oh. Right. I never apologized to him for that. And you should. So, what happened back there? Everyone's alive and well, occupying Colossus of their own free will. But it seems as though they may be in danger. Danger? Others seem interested, and probably not for the right reasons. Joshua said he's been seeing a news van scoping the place out the past few days. Michael said he saw one out there a few hours ago. Really? Yeah, but... Who's Joshua? He runs things at Colossus. But I thought Kenny said his name was Brian. One of those could be an alias of some sort. So, what's the rest of the plan? I'm gonna do an expose on the whole place. Make a story so airtight nobody can mess with it or distort the facts. And Doc here's got Kenny to look after. Can I help? With Kenny, yes. I think that might be good. Alrighty then. Go team. Okie dokie. Go team. Those kids... I mean... Kendra and Michael are going to be the death of us. Perhaps. I believe they just need more discipline. I think they're still feeling a little invincible after our success with exposing Fizenica. I don't know how you discipline a couple of modern-day superheroes, Doc, but sure. It's probably exactly what they need. All right, Kenny. This one's a lot heavier. Ready? Duh! Throw it! Oh god, uh, not too hard, Dewan. It's fine! It's a whole chair! Throw it! <gasps> Got it! That didn't even seem difficult for you. Dang! <laughs> Alrighty. How about we go clean the mess we made in the kitchen from when we bake cookies, Kenny? Playtime is over! But why? Come on now. You were the one who left me in charge of you. I don't know if i do that. You definitely did. I'm a witness. So come on, Kenny. Cheer down. Fine. I'll help you clean up. Yay, a good girl. I think there's some candy with your... I lied. <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, put me down. Who's the little kid now, huh? If you want down, you gotta act nicely. Kenny. This really isn't cool. Like, seriously, you need to put him down. Please put me down. Nobody's asking me nicely. No, that's enough, Kenny. Put him down now. Whew, that's better. Thank you. Look, I'll clean the kitchen myself. Just go to your room, Kenny. I was just playing. Uh-uh, I don't care. Funtime Mackenzie has left the building. Room. Now. Or I tell your parents what you did. You're no fun. 
That got kind of... intense. I'm never having children. I'm back. Y'all good? Um, I think so. Oh no, what happened? You're a little tyrant is what happened. Was I that bad? <laughs> nah, nothing I couldn't handle. I always know how to rein you in, don't I? At the best of times, yeah. So, everything okay with Brayden and Doc? Yeah, all good. What the hell happened? I'll tell you about it later, okay? It was a little hectic. Let's just leave it at that. Sure, whenever you're ready. You guys are the best, though. Thanks for babysitting. I would say any time, but I don't want to babysit anyone else with powers again. There's an authority issue. Yeah, the one couldn't alpha male your younger self, so that's the issue. That's not what I meant. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Anyways, we'll head out just as soon as we clean our mess in the kitchen. Who's there? It's Damien. Oh, yeah, come in. You good? What's good anymore, Damien? I nearly died getting out here. And now Joshua is letting some outsider get full access to everything. We're so screwed. We're not screwed, Claire. We just need to keep calm and trust his judgment. He hasn't led us astray yet. Once is all it takes, Damien. There's no rewind button after leading your pack off of a cliff. No, I hear you. But I also think you've gotten in your head about this just a little. Yeah. If you were home right now, what do you think your mom would say? Well... Do you think she'd use the iron to burn your legs again like when you were seven? Or would she just grab the gun and finally take a shot? Claire, stop. Or maybe she'd call the police on you again and say, there's a young man in the house who she doesn't know. Remember that? I don't want to think about this shit. That shit is what's waiting out there for you, Damien. It's what's out there. For all of us. Okay, then. All right. So what, then? You gonna kill Brayden or something? It crossed my mind. Jesus, Claire. <laughs> I'm joking. But I wouldn't pass up breaking a leg or two. Look, don't worry about it. I'll deal with him next time he comes around. His little charity project won't make it too far. Not as long as I have something to say about it. There he is. Good morning. Hey, Dad. Good morning. I didn't hear you come in last night. You want to explain that? Yeah. Um, look, I'll be honest with you. Doc and Brayden got into some trouble and Kendra and I had to help. Had to? In what way? Well, they sort of got kidnapped by people we assumed were a cult. We thought we were going to have to rescue them. What the hell, Michael? Is this that Colossus place you've mentioned? Yeah, but I was just talking with Kendra. Doc said they're not dangerous. They're just protective. I don't think I care what they are. You can't just keep putting yourself at risk by jumping in and out of dangerous places. Damn it, Dad. Not you too. What? You actually thought I'd be fine with you teleporting into the middle of a cult facility. I just told you they're not- It does not matter what they are, Michael. If you get seen or, or caught, Lucid Somnia won't hesitate coming after you. You understand? How do you know what they're capable of? You only know the things about that place that I told you. Besides, I can outrun them. Haven't you heard? I once took down an evil pharmacy company. Do not joke about this. You have no idea what your powers truly mean yet. You can't fly off the handle without at least talking to me about it first. This isn't a discussion, Michael. I'm telling you. Do you understand? Yeah, I understand. Michael, it's for your own safety. You need to trust me on this, all right? I do. Good. Now, tell me what happened. From the beginning. There you are. Brayden! I'd say it was a surprise to see you, but we've been doing a lot of bumping into each other lately. Let's not, shall we? I know you were outside of that commune near Belton yesterday. What are you talking about? I used to work at this station, remember? I just read the logs for the news van. What's your angle here, Donna? I I'm not sure I know what you're asking. You're the spin queen. Everybody knows this. So what I'm politely asking you is, what bullshit are you about to drop for the sake of entertainment? I'm offended, Brayden. I only go after the truth. I'm at the anchor desk because I offer people an entry point that others are too afraid to explore. Casey Bartleheim, 
You set the public against an innocent child who defended herself against a classmate's assault. What are you crying about? She got off in the end, didn't she? Hmm. Last I checked, she had to move to a different state because everyone here thought she needed to be committed. Well, you remember those little notes she wrote to herself as a kid. Very disturbing. You're the one who's disturbed, Donna. You took a child's short stories and spun them into a mental illness. You're the one who's fucked in the head going after a child like that. Look, I don't know what you want from me. It's not anything you do willingly, that's for sure. Oh my goodness. The theatrics. No, I'm serious, Donna. I don't know what you're up to with this story of yours, but I'm going to make damn sure to destroy anything you try to come out with. I played nice all these years, but that's done. You know, you're kind of cute when you're all riled up like this. It's very protagonist of you. <laughs> I said what I came to say. You've been warned. All right, that's enough Space Quest for today. Now, to check the bulletin board for any new messages, and then find something to eat. Hmm? A message from Roswell. Michael. Ah! What? What's up? Sorry. Didn't mean to interrupt. You know you can... Close your door, right? This isn't... I wasn't... What do you need, Dad? I'm home early, just checking if you wanted to grab a late lunch somewhere. Yeah, sure. Sounds great. I'll be there in a minute. I'll just, uh, close this for you. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> He's such a goofball. Okay, back to Roswell's message. Hey, you and your friend did good work taking down Fizenica. What? This isn't even the handle I was using to talk to him when that happened. How the hell did he... You left some crumbs, but don't let that rattle your cage too much. We should speak if you've got a minute. Head to the address at the end of this message in the next five minutes or not at all. I know it's far, but something tells me that won't be a problem. Come alone or bring your friend. The more the merrier. Michael, you ready? Yeah, Dad, just need five more minutes. Shit, 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 he knows. How the hell does he know? Ha, ah, there he is. What took ya? Start talking. Yeah, I understand. I'd be freaked out too. It's okay though. You're not in danger, shockingly. Lucky for you, I'm no rat. You know, it took very little effort on my part to tie you and your friend back to the Fizenica takedown. I caught you, teleporting, Penn Valley Park a few months ago, on tape. You might think you were slick, zipping in and out of there without a second thought, but you got sloppy. And with those powers, getting sloppy will get you in trouble. Tough guy, eh? That's fine. But what about the people closest to you? What happens when the people you care about can't just disappear? Is that a threat? He speaks. Look, I'm just trying to help you understand that you haven't been careful. No threat. That's all. Do you know what the government would do with someone like you? No, not really. Oh, I know it. It was once my job to recruit others into a program that studied people just like you. That's why I want to give you a very quick word of advice. Be more careful. And not just with those powers you got, but also with the people you trust. Sometimes it's the people right under your nose that can hurt you the most. And hell, even I could have been a setup and you would have fallen right into my trap. But if you ever want to take down some real bad guys, let me know. Your powers and my smarts together, and I'd be a force to reckon with. You want to, like, recruit me or something? I'll never be your babysitter. But maybe in the future, I'll have something for you. Something a little more meaningful than whiny runaways. What? How did you- I cracked the encryption on that flyer for you, remember? You left before I could tell you the rest of the code was the latitude and longitude for a spot not far from Austin. And about the runaways, well, that was all deductive reasoning. What's your name? See? You're already learning. Good. Anyway, I think we're done here. For now. Till next time. Yeah. I don't think I know what I'm doing, huh? Don't think I know what I'm doing. This is where you swoop in and dismantle every bit of doubt I had before heading into something big. All those doubts that would have kept me where I was. I promise. I hold on to everything you've ever said to me like my life depends on it. It does depend on it. You're probably shaking your head right now, wherever you are. I hope you don't mind listening. 
And if you can, help me keep those people safe. Kenny, we still have a few more things to go over. No, tired. Sweetheart. It's all right, Kenneth. I think we've reached the extent of progression for the evening. Can I have a moment with you over here? Sure. So, where do you think we're at? Well, it's still too early to tell. To be honest, I'm wondering if any of us should be doing anything at all. Sandra and I had been thinking the same. If she wasn't going to make it back, none of us would be here right now. Right? Not necessarily. There are multiple theories about time dilation and branching realities. It gets very messy. But, theoretically, yes. The fact that we are all still here means that nothing has changed. That we both stood here and had this conversation in Kendra's past future. You want some scotch? My god, please. Man, this closet has never been so neatly organized. I never thought to group my clothes by color before. Hmm, it looks kinda cool. Kendra, you copy? It's urgent. What's up, Michael? I need to see you right away. Can I come over? Yeah, absolutely. Hi. Hey, everything okay? You sounded so serious. No, it's not okay. Kendra, I messed up. I messed up big. I got us caught. Caught? What are you talking about? Roswell knows about us. Knows about us? In what way? He knows about our powers. What? Are you shitting me? How do you know? He sent me a message today, told me to meet up with him. I went. He said he caught us teleporting on tape when we went to Kansas City to talk to him about those contrails. Oh no, Michael, what does this mean for us? I don't know. He said he wasn't going to say anything, but... Kendra, he said it used to be his job to recruit for a program that studied people. People just like us. What? Do you think he might be somehow connected to Luca Somnia? Maybe. But when Doc saw that picture of him I took at the park, he didn't seem to recognize him. Yeah, but I don't think Doc was particularly looking for one of his old co-workers in that picture, and it was from a distance. Right. But Kendra, that's not all. He also said we need to be careful about who we trust. Okay. Like, who does he mean? He didn't get very specific. Ugh, of course he didn't. He also suggested we'd be better off working with him. Of course he did. I know, I know, it's not ideal. But like... Do we need to start being careful around people we already know? Or what? Michael, listen to me. Roswell is a weird, creepy old dude who has questionable hobbies. He knows what we can do, and now he wants to use it. That's it. What's he gonna do if we refuse to work with him? Tell the news? He'll be thrown into a psych ward. He's a freaking genius and way too smart for a misstep like that. That guy's got zero leverage, so he's trying to get inside your head to make it seem like you owe it to him. And you don't. All right? Yeah, I guess. You're probably right. Sorry. It just freaked me the hell out. Doc, Brayden, and even my dad got onto me about using my powers. And now Roswell shows up and makes it seem like it's even more of a mistake. Don't be sorry, Michael. It's okay. We're gonna be figuring this out for a very long time. We just need to... Yeah, Dad? Hey, we've got... Oh, hey, Michael. Good, you're here. Actually, um, yeah. Both of you might want to take a look at the news. I'll just warn you now. It's not pretty. Good evening. I'm Donna Rutledge reporting live from News 11's downtown studio in Austin. Our top story is part one of a series on the mysterious disappearances of young adults that have rocked the Central Texas area this year. Today, we share a shocking revelation. Claire Rodriguez and Damian Hunter, two of the more recent missing individuals, were spotted by none other than myself and my cameraman. We received an anonymous tip regarding a dramatic influx of hitchhikers gathering within a remote settlement not far from Austin. Though the footage you're about to see was taken from a considerable distance, they do appear to be in good health and unharmed. It did come as quite a shock, however, that former News 11 reporter Braden Fields was also seen at the settlement with another man whose identity remains unknown. As Mr. Fields is no longer affiliated with News 11, we can only speculate as to why he was there. Let's see if I remember this. Ah, oh, what a beautiful sound. So Claire, tell me about your childhood. Let me tell you, asshole. 
Listen real close. Bang! And the ratings soar. 